The herpes zoster virus, also known as shingles, is caused by the reactivation of the varicella zoster virus in individuals who have previously had chicken pox. The virus remains dormant in the dorsal nerve root ganglia of the sensory cranial and spinal nerves. Shingles commonly occurs when a person's immune system is weakened and the risk of developing this condition increases with age. Herpes zoster manifests with symptoms such as grooved vesicles and pustules on an erythematous base, arranged in a linear pattern along the affected dermatome. Typically, these eruptions are unilateral and usually found on the face or torso. Prior to the outbreak, patients may experience burning, pain, and neuralgia. Additional symptoms include fever, malaise, paresthesia, which is the pins and needles feeling, and itching. While visual examination is the primary method of diagnosis, additional tests may be performed to confirm the presence of the varicella zoster organism. These tests include viral culture, PCR, and serologic tests. The sunk test may also be performed to get a preliminary diagnosis, but it's not as sensitive as the other tests. One complication of herpes zoster is postherpetic neuralgia, which involves persistent and severe pain even after the lesions have healed. Scarring may also occur. It's important to note that shingles can be transmitted to individuals who have not previously had chickenpox or received the varicella vaccine. Treatment for herpes zoster involves the administration of antiviral medications like acyclovir, famcyclovir, or valacyclovir within 72 hours of symptom onset to prevent the development of postherpetic neuralgia. Wet compresses and the application of silver sulfadiazine may be used for ruptured vesicles. Pain relief can be achieved through the use of analgesics and mild sedatives at bedtime. In cases where postherpetic neuralgia persists, gabapentin may be prescribed. The CDC recommends two doses of the Shingrix vaccine to prevent herpes zoster and related complications. The doses should be spaced two to six months apart for immunocompetent adults aged 50 and older. The CDC also recommends two doses of the vaccine in those aged 19 or older who are immunocompromised. The second dose can be given one to two months after the first dose in those cases. The Zostavax vaccine for shingles is no longer available for use in the U.S. as of November 2020. To ensure patient comfort, the use of an air mattress and bed cradle is recommended to minimize contact and warmth, which can exacerbate the pain. Patients should be advised against scratching or rubbing the affected area and encouraged to wear loose clothing made of lightweight cotton while avoiding wool and synthetic fabrics. Educating patients about prescribed therapies, including the application of astringent compresses for pain relief, irritation reduction, and promotion of healing is essential. Proper skin care measures should be taught to prevent infection. Also educate patients that local symptoms can also be relieved through the application of compresses with calamine lotion or baking soda. Thank you for watching and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.